Hello and welcome to the Scratch Made Life Kitchen. My name is Kim and today we're going to make vanilla extract from scratch. So vanilla extract is the cornerstone of so many good baking recipes. Why not go that extra step if you're going to make a cake or cookies or anything from scratch and make your vanilla extract from scratch. And you're like, oh, are you kidding me right now? You know what? It takes vanilla beans and alcohol that's 35 to 40 proof. Most people like to use vodka because it really doesn't have much of an alcoholic taste. But the longer you develop your vanilla extract, the more the alcohol taste goes away until it's finally gone. Now you can age this for about six to eight weeks. It'll be fine to use. But for even deeper, richer vanilla flavor, go three to four months with it. So today we're going to use vodka and we're gonna do another one with bourbon. The difference is when you do one with bourbon, it's going to be a deeper vanilla flavor, almost kind of caramely. So what's my ratio? I use one vanilla bean to two ounces of alcohol. Now I know what some of you are saying. I don't want to use alcohol. Okay, you can use a non-GMO vegetable glycerin. Same ratio, uh, two ounces of that to one vanilla bean. But just know that that's going to have to sit longer in order for that glycerin to pull the vanilla flavor from the vanilla bean. So what we do is first of all we make sure we have a nice fresh pliable vanilla bean. If your vanilla bean is hard it's going to um, take longer for the flavor to pull out of it. Now if you find some with mold in them get rid of them. We don't want mold in our extract. And all you do is you put a slit in your vanilla bean. So just slit it right down the center. Doesn't even have to go all the way through. Make sure you leave the edges intact. And then we put it in our jar. Now these glass mason jars with the air dry lids, perfect. And so I'm using um, 750 milliliters of alcohol, which is about 25 ounces. So I've got 12 vanilla beans that I'm gonna have in each one of those jars. So, I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna, there we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and just use the whole 25 ounces in here. Now you wanna make sure that your vanilla bean is completely covered. I and mean, these are 32 ounce mason jars. And we're just about gonna do it there. So there's a few here that aren't quite all the way under the alcohol. I'm not a bourbon drinker. I do not like that smell, but the taste is going to be wonderful. So you're going to put that in that, put the lid on there, and then give it a good shake. And then what you're going to do is you're going to store it in a dark, cool place like a closet while you age it. And once a week, go in there and shake it up. It's that easy. Let's do it with the vodka, okay? 12 vanilla beans. 25 ounces, or an ounce over my two to one ratio. Pour it on in there. Now, does a better alcohol make a better vanilla? Nope. So you can go get the cheap stuff. You don't have to use the maker's mark for your bourbon. Now, if you really wanna make sure that these are under there, you can do this, you can just cut them in half. All right, super easy. Just cut them in half. There you go. And then once again, just shake it up. Put it in a cool, dry place. Minimum of eight weeks, preferably up to four months. And then you can just use it. And you can occasionally use the vanilla beans and you can kind of recycle. You know, maybe you want to take about eight ounces out and put it aside and then add a few more vanilla beans and a little bit more alcohol. Keep it going. Kind of like a sourdough starter of the extract world, right? That's it. That's all there is to making your own vanilla extract. Now, how does it uh, shape up economically? It cost me about $60. I bought 30 beans and I bought the two bottles of alcohol. And this is going to make me a little over 50 ounces of vanilla. And I will use it, I promise you. To buy that much vanilla in the grocery store, I'm gonna spend $125 to $150. So this saves you a lot of money. It's gonna give you a deeper, better vanilla flavor than your store-bought vanilla. So it's quite a deal, it's super easy. And you know what? 
If you got those little cute glass bottles, they would make great gifts. All right, guys, go and watch some more of our videos. You'll see more vi baking videos pop up to use your vanilla extract in. Have a great day and we'll see you soon. Bye now.